Hello friends, this video on basic concepts of chemistry part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 20. A uh, welding fuel contains carbon and hydrogen only. So there is a fuel which has carbon and hydrogen. Burning a small sample of it will give carbon dioxide. That's if you burn this with oxygen, it gives you carbon dioxide and water. Right? So you get 3.38 grams of carbon dioxide and 0 0.690 grams of water and no other compound. That's what you get. A volume of 10 liter under standard temperature and pressure of welding gas is found to weight 11.6 gram. We have to find the empirical formula, molar mass and empirical uh, molecular formula of this gas. See with this I can say that if I have take one mole of carbon this is a balanced equation actually, is right. So, one mole of carbon dioxide you will get from 12 gram of carbon, correct? Because hydrogen and carbon carbon is balanced. Hope you understand this. So, I can say that one mole of CO2 you get from one mole of carbon here. Correct. That means I can say that one mole of CO2 is what? 44 gram of CO2 is emitted by 12 grams of carbon. I have how many grams of CO2? 3.38. So 3.38 grams of CO2 is emitted by 12 by 44 into 3.38 grams of carbon. That is 0.9217 grams of carbon. Correct. So these many is emitted by 0 0.9217 grams. So this guy is 0 0.9217 grams of carbon in this. Correct. So if you balance uh, oxygen also, so this becomes 2H2 because oxygen is O. Here is 2O. In this I can say that 2 Let's compare H H now. If you see, there is one H here and here is two H two, H two, right? So I can say that I need two mole of this gas to produce one mole of water, right? Two mole of gas is required to produce one mole of water. I'm comparing the hydrogen part now, right? So two mole of gas required to produce one mole of this. Right, so hope you understand this. Right, two mole of gas requires, or I'm talking about the hydrogen now. Hydrogen. So this becomes two into a uh, gram of hydrogen. That is again uh, one. See, we have to find the hydrogen grams now because we have find carbon. We have to find hydrogen now. So what we can see is here is, if you see, if you flip it, one mole of hydrogen water gives uh, is we got from these. Uh, two moles of gas here, right? So I can say I can flip this. Two moles of uh, one mole of hydrogen is how much? 18 grams of water, right? 18 to get 18 grams of water, you need two grams of H2 gas with this equation. But we have got 0 0.690 grams of water. So for 0 0.690 grams of water, you need two by 18 into 0 0.690 grams of H2. Right? That is nothing but 0 0.0767 grams of H2. That means I have 0 0.0767 grams of H2. Correct? So I have my carbon, I have my hydrogen grams I know. So my in, H, in my gas I have, you see, my carbon is 0 0.9217 and my hydrogen, I'll say like this, in my fuel, I have my carbon is uh, 0 0.9217 gram. And hydrogen is 0 0.0717 gram. So 76 gram. 0 0.076 gram. So these I have in grams now. Total is how much? Total fuel is you add these two, you get 0 0.9984 grams. So my total fuel weight is let's suppose 100, uh, this grams, almost one gram. So my carbon is this many grams, hydrogen is this many grams. So my percentage of carbon is how much? What I have to find? I have to find the uh, formula of this. So 
So first let me find the percentage of carbon. Carbon will be uh, 0.9217 by 0.9984 into 100 percent that is 92.32 percent of carbon and percentage of hydrogen will be 0.767 by total is 0.9984 into 7 into 100 that is coming out 0.7.68 percent so i have percentage of hydrogen i have percentage of carbon now i can find the molecular formula correct how will you find i have percentage of this i have percentage of this so percentage of carbon i have i have to find the mole mole of carbon so let's let's assume i have taken 100 gram of fuel right so that means in the 100 gram of the fuel i have 92 grams of carbon 92 gram of carbon that means 92 by 12 moles of carbon and 72 gram that means 7 7.62 gram that is 7.62 by 1 mole of hydrogen because now i am taking 100 gram of fuel so i have these many moles of hydrogen this many moles of carbon so if you find this this guy is 7.69 and this guy is 7.68 so i have 7.69 moles of hydrogen 7.69 moles of carbon so if you find the ratio 7.69 by 7.69 right that is almost 1 is to 1 so my empirical formula is something like ch this is my empirical formula correct i have got the empirical formula so let me write here i have got the empirical formula as ch n is my empirical formula Correct. Now I am told that weight of 10 liter of gas is 11.6 gram. Correct. Now I know that since gas in under STP, STP, under STP, I know that one mole of any gas, ideal gas, is equal to 22.4 liter at STP. Correct. This is correct. And I am told that 10 liter is equal to this many grams. So I have to find now the molecular mass of this gas. Correct. That's what I have to find now. That's what I'm trying to find. I know that one mole of gas is equal to this many liters. Correct. So that means 22.4 liters is equal to one mole. But I know that 11.6 liter, sorry, 10 liter is equal to 11.6 gram. So my 22.4 liter is how much? 11.6 by 10 into 22.4 grams. That is almost equal to 26 grams. Correct. So 22.4 liter is nothing but 26 grams. Please note weight of 10, uh, this is one mole of gas is equal to 22.4 liter. This is a standard formula. And 22.4 liter is nothing but 26 gram for this gas. Correct. That means, and there is nothing but one mole of gas. That means my molecular mass of gas is 26. So I have the formula CHN form. That is carbon is 12 plus 1 into N is equal to 26. That is 13 into N is equal to 26. Or N is equal to 2. That means my uh, molecular formula for this is molecular formula will be C2H2. Why? Because N is equal to 2 here, right? So it will be CH2 that is C2H2. How? Because I found that I was to I know that 22.4 liter is equal to 1 mole. For 22.4 liter, I found the mass came out to be 26 gram because for 11 uh, for 10 liter it is 11.6 grams. I got this many grams, this is my molecular mass of the gas. And that is my, with that I can find the formula. And the formula is to be C2H2. Let's take another question. Calcium carbonate reacts with uh, hydrochloric acid to give CaCl2 carbon dioxide according to this reaction. CaCO3 plus HCl gives CaCl2 plus CO2 plus H2O. What is the mass of calcium carbonate required to react completely these ml of 0.75 m of HCl? Please note, in this I have been told the molarity of HCl. Correct. So I have to find the mass of CaCO3 required to completely consume this much. 
So that means I have to first find this 25 ml of this uh, 0.75 HCl contains how many moles of HCl? Easy to find, correct? So in this case, if you see, I have to find the reaction between CoCO3 is my issue and HCl. I know that one mole of CoCO3 requires two mole of HCl. I have to find how many moles of HCl is there in this. That is easy to find. Correct. So if you see 0.75 mole is nothing but mole of HCl by volume of water, volume of solution in liter. That is 25 ml into 10 to the power minus 3 becomes liter. Correct. So my mole of HCl comes out to be 0 0.75 into 25 into 10 to the power minus 3. This many moles of HCl I have got. Correct. So 2 mole of HCl require 1 mole of CaCO3. Correct. And that is nothing but 100 grams of, I need to find the mass that is 100 grams of CaCO3. So the formula I have is 2 moles of HCl requires 100 grams of CaCO3. So 2 moles of HCl is equal to 100 grams of CaCO3. I have these many moles of HCl. So 0 0.75 into 25 into 10 to the power minus 3 mole of HCl will require 100 by 2 into 0 0.75 into 25 into 10 to the power minus 3 grams of CaCO3. Hope you understand this. And this comes out to be 0 0.9375 grams. Very simple. See, I know that 2 mole of HCl requires 1 mole of CaCO3 that is 100 grams of CaCO3. And I know that this solution has these many moles of HCl and very easy I could find the answer. This is a pretty easy question actually. Chlorine is prepared in lab by treating MnO2 with uh, HCl. With this reaction you define the grams of HCl required with 5 mg of MnO2. I have these things in concern. So with this I can see that 4 moles of HCl required 1 mole of MnO2. Let's put everything in grams. So 4 mole of HCl, 1 mole of HCl is how much? HCl is 1, uh, hydrogen is 1, chlorine is 35.5, that is 4 into 36.5 grams of HCl requires 1 mole of MnO2. MnO2 will come out how much? 9 into 65, oxygen is 2, 2 into 16, 32 plus 55, this is 87. Requires 87 grams of MnO2. So I have to find how many grams of this? Let me flip this. So this becomes 87 grams of MnO2 requires. This becomes 146, right? Grams of HCl. So I have 0.5 grams. I have to find 5 grams of MnO2 requires how many grams of HCl? So this becomes 146 by 87 into 5. 5 grams. And this comes out to be 8.4 grams of HCl. And that is my answer. Very simple. Just I know that 4 moles of HCl is equal to requires 1 mole of MnO2. That is nothing but 1 87 grams of MnO2 requires 4 into 36.5. That is 146 grams of HCl. This equation I had, I need for 5 grams. I could easily find it. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to Watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.